Hello guys, thanks for watching my video today. Um, today I'm gonna talk about grass-fed, grass-finished beef and free-range organic chicken. I wanna talk about the place where I get my meat and why I've chosen this place. So I get my meat shipped to my house from ButcherBox. I've been doing this for quite a few years. Although I don't talk about it a ton on here, I do think that it has some major importance and I do wanna deliver the reason why I choose to feed my family grass-fed, grass-finished beef and free-range organic chicken. Um, so I chose ButcherBox because for one, it is very convenient way to get your meat to your house. Uh, we live in South Dakota, uh, maybe you don't live here, maybe you live somewhere where you have access to it locally, but the organic foods that we have here in South Dakota are very limited along with the grass-fed, grass-finished beef However, because our, um, our cows aren't able to be grass-fed, grass-finished out in our environment because it's freaking cold and we don't have grass all year round. So uh, it has to come from somewhere else, right? So that makes it more expensive. However, ButcherBox has made it much more affordable than if you would go into the grocery store and purchase it that way. Um, I get typically in my box, you can go online, you can choose whatever kind of box you want. However, I get the, I customize my own box and I get the large big box and then I usually get about two shipments or I get one shipment every two months. And so in that box, I typically have um, chicken and ground sirloin and salmon. Uh, they do have other options like pork. Um, they have lots of options with your chicken cuts and your beef cuts. However, those are the, the main things that myself and my family eat. So that's just really all I get. We don't really eat any pork uh, just because of my own personal preference. I just don't like the taste. Um, so this is what their packaging looks like. Uh, I usually get ground sirloin. They do have a ground beef option. This is a little leaner for myself, is which I prefer. However, they're great. Both they're both great options. Um, the other thing I get is chicken breast. I also get chicken tenderloins. They're super easy to cook, and they cook up really well because they're already like cut individually. Um, and then I'll like bread them for my kiddos, and they think they're chicken tenders. So it's a win-win for everybody. The other one I get is salmon. Uh, they come in these personalized packages here like this, and then you can just throw it in the uh, air fryer, in the oven, and broil it on the grill, what have you. Uh, their salmon is wild caught. Uh, I find it, it's very important to have your salmon wild and not farm raised. Farm raised is not great conditions for that fish. It's also usually fed uh, like pink food to make it pink it's because it's not in its natural habitat it's not each eating its natural food sources it's farm raised um, it doesn't have nearly the nutritional benefits as something that's wild caught so always go with wild caught especially with salmon um, and any sort of fish um, their chicken breast is free range and organic and the reason why this is important is because a chicken is able to walk it's able to have room to walk um, it's able to be around chickens just like itself and so it's in a healthy happy normal environment and it's also fed organic vegetarian food which then makes your chicken healthier which then makes your meat healthier and you're putting better food and better product into your body so i do find that this is also very important um, they don't give their chickens any antibiotics or any hormones either um, their beef is 100% um, grass-fed and grass-finished. So when you go into the store and you're looking for grass-fed beef, if it only says grass-fed and not grass-finished, that could mean that the, that cow only had grass one time. They can put that on there. Um, they can feed the, the cattle grass a couple times, and then they can put on there that it was grass-fed. So if it says grass-fed, grass-finished, that means 100% of that cow's life, it was eating grass. Um, their cattle also roam in their natural environment. Um, many times in our environment that we're kind of used to, the cattle, um, when they're born, they stay with their mom for the per first like six to seven months, and then they're brought to um, a stockyard with a bunch of other cows in a dirty environment. They get antibiotics and they're not raised in a clean environment. Um, and it's, it's quite sad. 
Um, these cows are in their natural environment. They're able to roam their entire lives. They're fed grass the entire time. Everything they're fed is organic, which leads to a healthier cow and it leads to healthier meat that you're putting in your body. There are some benefits of grass-fed versus grass or versus grain-fed meat. Nutritionally, you have more omega-3s in a grass-fed, grass-finished cow, uh, which is better for your brain development. Um, it's a better fat acid to be consuming versus the omega omega-6. Um, there's also more vitamin A, there's also more vitamin E in a grass-fed, grass-finished cow versus a grain-fed cow. Um, also keep in mind that cows that are fed grain are typically fed um, corn and soy. And so remember that that's the, the only nutrition that cow is getting um, and that's not going to create a very high quality meat that you're putting in your body. Um, it is also important to notice that these are going to be more expensive products. Um, you, and that is up to you to decide if that is something that's worth it for you or if it's just too much for you right now. I think that um, it's always important to eat real food and that should be your primary focus. And if you want to branch out from there and uh, search out more high quality products, I think Busher Box is an amazing company. Um, I'm not an affiliate. I don't get paid to say this. I just actually really like their products and I wanted to share a little bit of knowledge with you today about um, how to increase your food quality. So if you have questions, please reply back to this email. It's me on the other side and I'm happy to answer your questions. Um, otherwise, I look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you.